This beautiful bruiser is so mean, it'll fight a rock. A closer look at flower horn cichlids in this fincast. Um, this food, Extreme, we do feed in the store um, exclusively to all the African cichlids. Uh, we do flake food for the tropical fish. Uh, we do a lot of different um, scrapers and the catfish love them. Uh, when you look at the fish, they're very, very healthy, very vibrant in color. The flower horn cichlid is popular, but don't try to keep it with any other fish. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. I've got an interview with an expert on flower horns coming up in just a few seconds, but first, very quickly, I have to brag just a little bit. The new issue of New York Pets magazine is out. It's a free magazine. It's available at pet stores in the greater New York City area, but my article inside is about the Curviceps cichlid, and there is a companion FinCast to this article, and you can just click the link above right here if you want to take a closer look at Curviceps. But Please do pick up a copy of New York Pets if you're in the New York, New Jersey area. Now to the flower horn. Sun Pet, one of the wholesalers that I deal with with Carl and Aquarium Systems, had a beauty on display at Global Pet Expo this year. And Barry Weisbrom, who runs that company and travels the world because of the pet trade, is a really good source of information on the flower horn. And he was kind enough to share some of his thoughts with me while we were at the show. Well, we have, it's a flower horn. They have become popular over the past few years. Um, it's considered good luck, a good luck fish um, by some Asian cultures, and um, again, become very popular. It's a relatively new um, fish. They've been available to the hobby, you know, maybe for six or seven years, but that's still relatively new. Uh, they, are, they are a pretty much a one, one fish per tank species. Um, I have tried to keep them with other things personally. I put them with placos, which most, even most aggressive fish will ignore a placo, but flower horns don't tolerate even placosomus. They will beat themselves bloody trying to, trying to run a placosomus out of their aquarium. So um, they're very aggressive. They fight rocks even. I mean, they'll fight anything, so. Really? Yep. But now they got a lot of personality, isn't it? What's the appeal of them? They're, well, they, it's, they do come up to the glass and look at you and beg for food and, um, they have personality, so that's that is definitely their big draw. Plus, they're beautiful fish. It is it is a high, it is a hybrid fish, and again, they're raised in Asia predominantly, um, and they come in a, a very wide variety of colors. A lot of blues and reds. Some are almost all red. Some are almost all gold or white, um, and then a lot a lot a lot of them are all all blue. So, um, huge variety in colors. I think no two are exactly alike. They've also got a um, wide range of hump sizes. Uh, the females have a, a very small hump, if anything. They look a lot more like a, um, I guess, any a lot of other cichlids without a hump. Um, and the males can can develop a hump on their head, which is monstrous, uh, deform, very, very deformed looking. And actually, it's it's um, not called a hump. It's called a cock. Oh, really? Yes. Like, so uh, I don't like know. A rooster. <laughs> yes. Right. Well, that's a comb on a rooster. A comb. <laughs> okay. Um, it's spelled K-O-K. -K. Is it possible to get them to pair up and breed or not? Well, it, obviously it's possible to get them to pair up because they, they are bred. Um, and I have, I have in Singapore seen them kept with females, um, but I've never tried to personally breed them, so I don't know if it's a put the female in temporarily or if they leave them together. But I have seen them two in a tank, but that's the only thing I've ever seen them in a tank successfully kept with. So thanks again to Barry. I really appreciate the interview. And I'll put some links to some other good articles about flower horns with the description of this video if you just want to click on those and take a look. I'll also put a link in there about Sun Pet if you want to learn a little bit more about what fish wholesalers are all about. Now remember, I have an entire series of video dedicated just to cichlids, so just click the link if you want to see more of those. And please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to FinCasters. Remember, there's a new FinCast every Sunday. And I'll see you in the next FinCast.